Hello everybody, it is Channing Bear here. Welcome back to well, this you could say this is the final episode. Uh or you could say this is the tour. Well it is the tour. Welcome to the tour of Canada of of Canada Highlands Wildlife Park. Hooray! The guests are superior out of thin air from this thing. Very cool. So this tour oh, don't do that. is oh well, yeah, Canada Highlands Wildlife Park. Um, so we've had 11 episodes of this, and this is the tour, basically. Um, so there's 11 species of animals, one joint habitat with two, and yeah, a lot of terrain. <laughs> so this uh, zoo is meant to focus on scenery and stuff like that. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to get a bit above the... there we go. Welcome. To Canada Highlands Wildlife Park. Very cool. Wow. Wow. It's a waffle. Wow. It's a bear. Oh god. Right. Canada Highlands Wildlife Park. Very cool. All the other things. Right. So. I've decided to leave this bit empty because I quite like the idea of it being this plain area but with like mountains. If you know what I mean. Like, oh, those aren't really mountains. Ignore these bits, only look at these bits. <laughs> and anyway, so we first come to a little shop area, so we've got that and that. And that. Um, so some food shops and some food shops, and then we have some toilet. So these are all using the Arctic. Um, thing. Arctic pack. Uh, shell things. Anyway, so we come the forest. And it's not scary at all, but. Oops. I'm in the toilet, uh, gotta get out of there. Yeah, the forest. Very cool. And this little stuff area back here. Okay, now it's time for the forest. Very cool. Starting with the moose habitat. Where we have four moose, meese, mice, mace, mooses. Okay, we have a bit more than four. How many do we have? Look. Eight. Oh god. All right. So we've got six in the habitat. Two of them are babies. Wait. How do we have two adult meese? Oh god. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Now we have the right amount of meese. Um, here are the meese habitat. <laughs> here is the meese habitat. So, we've got like a nice little terrainy thing. Terraining, terrainy thing background. Very cool. I really like these arrowwood bushes. They're really useful. I couldn't use them in the later half because they're temperate, but it's really useful. Um, so. Here we see the me the moose, the male moose, in its wet habitat. Here we see an adult female moose in its near a fence habitat. Okay, I know. Uh, yeah, this is this is the moose habitat. I hope you like it. This took a while, I think. Rock. When you realise that the resolution of Planet Zoo isn't actually that all great when you zoom into rock. <laughs> it looks really good though. Uh, right. We'll get to this bit later. We need to finish the forest. Forest. Like, oh, I mean, this way. And here. <gasps> it. A timber waffle. Uh, oh, it's two timber waffles. Timber wolf. 
we've got a nice little cave for them with some light that for some reason are not emitting any light. Automatic. No, we would on. On. There we go, now they're emitting light. Bruh. That's noticeably better. Uh, anyway, then we have a little bush area. E bush. Donate to help the waffle. Donated to help the waffle. Tw only twenty pounds. One person has donated to help the waffles. Bruh. Do you not like waffles or something? Oh, 58 people have donated in this one. What about this one? 40. Okay, we've had a fair amount of people donating to the waffles. Apparently this says 37 years. Uh, I'm very disappointed. Wait, it's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas! Christmas. Oh, it's not Christmas. <laughs> Anyway, there's no waffle habitat. So, this took too long. I don't know why, but I did this, but I did. I tried to put some rocks into the. Uh, what is that? Wait. Are there like. No yeah, there's, there's definitely snow there. Bruh. So weird. Anyway, ignoring that. I embedded some rocks into the terrain, it looked right. I probably could have done it better. And there's lumps, and basically, this habitat had a problem where the keepers were putting the meat. Oh, yes, they still are. Really? In the water, but I don't want to get rid of the water. Bro, the tray is right here. Honestly. Um, but yeah, it's like a glitch where they're putting it in the water, and not, and not in the tray. And they sometimes they don't even put anything there; they just leave. And this is more meat in here. Anyway, yeah, this is a Timberwolf habitat. They, primary drop. Uh, there we go. They are able to go up to. No, they can't go up there. Um, I don't know if they can. So, for some reason, they cannot get out of this. I don't think. Wait, I'm gonna check. This is a waffle. Where can they go? Oh, they can escape. Right. Brilliant. Um, you are going that way. Okay, and I've turned up animal escape, so they can't, they can, they can't, they can't just walk out. But apparently, they can go in this bit, and that's a bad thing. There we go. Ah, uh, now there's no escape. I hope. It's a no escape? Yo, waffles. Tell me, it's a no escape. They can still do it. Right. Haha, -ha, now there's no escape. Wahaha. Wahaha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Now there's no escape for the waffles. Anyway. <laughs> to the top. Yeah, this is the waffle habitat. Very cool. I think it's quite good. I like it. <laughs> now, I'm not going to go this way yet. Um. I'm gonna take the around route because there's other things that you want. 
Let's see. <laughs> rivers! The rivers. Oh, there's only one habitat in the rivers! Oh, yeah, this fencing took so long. I, I did the training fence and then <laughs> I basically framed it with the Arctic wood. It was such a pain. Anyway, the beavers! Are there any beavers on that? There's a beaver on land. Very beaver. Wait, it's a baby beaver. Beaver. Baby beaver! He's cute. Oh, that's adorable. 0.1 years. Brilliant. <laughs> How do you feel? You're a 36 and a half days old. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> right. Hello. And we've got a little underwater being for them. <laughs> the underwater being, very cool. Here we see a beaver with aquatic habitat. They, he, he looks so immobilized. And it looks like he's floating. Uh, are you okay, sir? Yes, okay, he literally just nodded that. Bruh. That's pretty epic. Anyway, back to the path. Uh, so that's the small beaver. And uh, we want to go this way. Play. Oh, yeah. Play. The American bison. And Clonghorn antelope habitat. This. It's a big bison. This is a big bison. <laughs> and this is a much smaller wrong horn antelope in the water. Very cool. I'll give you a sec to take a look at this habitat and then we'll move on. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a cold. I always have a cold, it's so annoying. This one looks populated. Almost everywhere you look there's an animal. Where is bison around? Bruh, my nose is running. Okay, so we can either go back into the forest or back into the forest. We are going to. Oh god. I, I that that wasn't intended. We are going to go back into the forest. You would have thought that. Only to look at this. Uh, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? This took me too long. Anyway, so let, let's just say that we've gone down this path and gone this way. And we're here now! In the grizzly bear habitat. And somehow both bears are on the, time, on the same climbing frame. Who would have thought that? That's quite unlikely. But it's happened. Hasn't it? Wait, is it fair? Oh, it's a baby. Little baby! 1.1 1. 1. Very cool. Very many drop. Baby bear! That's me when I was born. <laughs> Very cool. Right. So if one of these randomly starts spinning, you can go with me. Very cool. Right. I'm experiencing a frame rate to drop here. <laughs> this has occurred multiple times and I dislike it. Okay, this frame rate drops actually daily. Okay, so, um, you may 
think this river familiar to about 30 seconds ago, or however long it took. That's because it is the same river. They can't escape. <laughs> because of this pile of rocks and palm trees. As you can see. What? What? There's not even a lane. Bruh. Let me just break this real quick. Pull out the rocks. Aha! That does not make it look worse. Yes, it works. Very cool. Okay, so this is a big habitat, so I've only shown you. Oh, the primary drop uh, Oh, right, when I say the, the mini one. Um, here's the indoor section with a bear going into it. There's a wall in pine made of rock. And we have this little thing here, a viewing. Why does the background of this look a lot more lush than this? Bruh. <laughs> anyway, and then we have a den. I have no idea why I put there a den there. I think it was supposed to link up to the woods, but well, with another animal. But then I can, and then I probably remembered. Oh wait, there aren't any animals. Uh, and we have another green meat drop. Anyway, no, the okay, the the no. Dun, 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 dun. Oh god. Ta -da. Look at the size of what? Okay. Look at the size of those mountains! Oh, oh god! Oh god! Not good. Okay. Look at the size of those mountains. They're enormous. Basically, this the North was inspired by the TV series of his dark materials, um, with the scene of the boats going up to the North. So I thought I'd replicate that as the entrance to the North area because we needed an Arctic. Area. Oh God, I don't like this glitch. This is bad. Bruh. Is there even? A yeah, I'm cursed. There we go. See, look, there's a massive queue of people trying to get to the north. But luckily for me, I can skip the queue. Okay, so basically, imagine that boat right here going up to the north. Wouldn't it look amazing? Yes, it would. <coughs> And then it parks, and we have a little way up. So let's follow the pathway. Again, the snow glitches here. We continue up the path. Oh, look, we're going down again. How boring. <laughs> and we reach the area that's in pitch black oh my god this is epic <laughs> very cool did the mountain get in did the mountain get in I think the mountain might have got in did the mountain get in tell me 
No, it did not. That's depressing. Um, but yeah, we have this everlasting long cave. Oh god. That's <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's bright. Wee! Epic graphics, very cool. <laughs> anyway, we come to the Arctic Fox habitat. Look at them! Wait, that's not an Arctic Fox. Look at them! Look at him! He's cute! I'm pretty sure one of them had a baby and it was like a white a white dad and a brown mother. I wanna find the baby. I'll just look him up on the animal list. <laughs> there he is. He's like a cross. It's so cute. Baby Arctic Fox. He's so cute. Shame the frame rate drop. All these are potential thumbnails. <laughs> I actually might get a screenshot of this because it's so cute. Get, get out of the way, fans. And massive flower. Bruh, don't stop in the flower. I don't think it's a change angle. There we go, that's gonna be up for now. <laughs> right. Okay, see. So, this has got like a sort of active village thing with a little igloo. Uh, oh god. Frame rate drop. I, well, I don't get why there's a frame rate drop. It's really annoying. <laughs> anyway, we move on to the doll sheep habitat. Let me see the male doll sheep. In his flowery habitat, a bunch of flowers. Look at him. He looks epic. I like his horns. <laughs> and yeah, we have a fairly decent uh, sheep habitat. <laughs> uh, oh, this is my favourite one. We move on to the polar bear habitat. Now this is also based off of that material, so basically there's an arctic village with a polar bear <laughs> And it's by the sea. What does this look like? An arctic village with a polar bear in it, by the sea. Isn't it perfect? <laughs> one of them is on the harbour. Which one's this one? Probably the, it's the female. Um, yes I renamed them. <laughs> Uh, basically, the polar bear is called Yorick Bannison. That's what I named the male one. <laughs> I named the female one Yorick's friend. <gasps> Yorick Bannison, where are you? I, can't, I can genuinely not find Yorick Bannison. Where is he? Calm. Oh, oh, he's there. He was in the sea. Okay. That's mildly disturbing. <laughs> oh god! Oh no, please stop! That's so scary. Uh, anyway, so I hope you like this, because I do. I like this. It's got these rows. I individually placed these. It took a while, okay? And again, we have the same style of Arctic village with I've got some trees in between there. 
I really like this habitat. Anyway, we move on with another raindrop. I don't, I don't get. I hate it. And we come to the reindeer habitat. The reindeer. Very cool. The deer. Which I use, which often have reins for being ridden. Anyway. <laughs> This is the reindeer habitat. I hope you like it. So th the idea of this is like it's sort of the edge of the forest. It's the edge of the forest. So we've got like not many trees and then gradually it gets thicker and thicker until you're into a thick forest. Meaning that the next habitat is entirely super thick forest. That's so fun. This is also one of my favourites. We come to a cool habitat. The reason this is one of my favorites is the genesis of the forest and like all the bushes and stuff. And I really like how I did the terrain, like I put the snow in the areas that weren't under trees mostly. And it it just gives the ground a really nice effect, some snow, some fur, grass. It looks amazing. And you may have noticed I also made a big cave for them. Which we will get to by going around into this undecorated valley. But it's supposed to be undecorated because in the north there's not that much plant life, especially in a valley when there's not meant to be loads. Uh, I made this sort of makeshift house thing so that it looked like so there was, was space. Well, no, so, so, like the. So it wasn't just a glass wall because it, it needed a roof because otherwise it would just go head up above. Yeah. So I made a little roof thing with this. This took a while as well. Anyway, the indoor cave with some lights in the background. Very cool. I'm not entirely sure if they can get down here. <laughs> now that I think about it. I think they should. Roll the meat there. Oh, I did not want to do that, but now that he's selected. That's not what I want to do either. Uh, I never checked whether they could get down or not, and it turns out they, they can't. Let me fix that. <laughs> eh, this light. Oh no, it's not closing. Okay, that's fine. Right, waffles, I've given you shelter now. Do you want the shelter? Are you willing to do stuff for the shelter? Let's have a look. They can! And they're running inside already! Very cool. One. In. Yes! Yes! Now the guests are finally gonna come round here. See the bottles in bed. Of course he sits on that. Wait, can he get down into his bed? Yeah, he can. I just realized something because how does this work? This, this is supposed to modify the terrain. Bruh. What? What? Modify the terrain and stuff. That's gonna remain cursed forever. Anyway, so that's the zoo. Um, I hope you like it. I'm just gonna. Uh, Give, give you a second to admire all the terraining in the north because I, I really like it. Um, so this, this big mountain, very big. We've got the snow glitch happening again. Oh yes, the boat. Time to 
to show the boat is even I'll just give it a second until it's around the corner. No, I won't. I'm going to speed him up. The boat to the north. Oh, yeah, okay. Anyway, this is the entire zoo. This has taken us a couple months. Actually, I think it's more like a month than a week or something. But we've done it. The zoo is finished. So, uh, I will upload this to the workshop if possible. <laughs> uh, and if I do, then the link will be in the description of this video. Um, if a link is needed, I still don't know about this stuff yet. And, yeah, please subscribe. This took a while. It's an 11 episode series. <laughs> and, uh, goodbye.